Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today, today we have the finale of The Last of Us Season 1 and I am excited for this episode, but I also don't want this episode because that means it's the end of Season 1 and I don't want this to be over because this show has been like phenomenal. It's been absolutely top tier. Um, if you haven't seen my previous reactions and all my thoughts and stuff about each episode, you can go back and watch them all on my channel. But basically, I have been completely in love with this show. Everything about it, uh, the actors, the direction, everything that they've done has been incredible. And I am sad to see it go, but, you know, it is what it is. I can just go back and replay the game if I want to. Um, one thing that I'm concerned about, though, is this episode is apparently only 43 minutes long. And that is obviously including credits and stuff. So I'm a, I'm a bit like, why is the last episode so short? Um, but I'm gonna trust the process anyway. I'm gonna just wait it out and see what happens, see how it goes. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into the episode. <gasps> oh my goodness! It's Ashley! Yeah, this is not a good place to be pregnant. Oh, you can just hear her Ellie voice. Just from her grunting, you can just hear her Ellie voice. Oh my god. This is insane. I'm so glad that... Oh, is this the house? This is the house, right? This looks like the house that... The tractor. Is this the house from season... From, from game two? The knife. God, that's terrifying. What the fuck? Did she get bit? Oh god, that's a child. God, that's a way to fucking push a baby out. Jesus Christ. the fuck <laughs> this is so sweet it's less than five minutes in Hi. i'm like i'm really happy that ashley got such an important role that's not even in the game that's like completely new but she got such an important role and it's perfect because she just obviously looks like ellie because she is ellie and she sounds like ellie um so it's perfect. It's perfect to cast her as Ellie's mom in this. Fucking hell. So I wonder if that's how she's immune though, because she got because her mom got bit just as she was being born. Like something went into her system, maybe. I don't want you to take her with you to Boston. Find someone to bring her up and make sure that she's safe. And then you kill me. I can't kill you. Please, no. Please. Please. Put her out of her misery, damn please. it. No. That's fucking horrible. I know that you're just losing your child and having to turn into a fucking infected. Hold her. Cover her ears. I'm sorry, I don't have the words to say anything in the minute. <laughs> ah! Well, I found this in there. Beefaroni, Chef Boyardee. Oh, cool. Oh, his little smile. 
Boggle. Have you ever played this? Boggle. <laughs> it's a word game. If you want to beat me at something, it would be this. Oh, he's oh, trying right, his right. best. I'm getting close. Oh, he's so excited about his boggle. <laughs> I love him. I love him so much. They had a guitar in that RV. It was all smashed up, but got me thinking. Maybe I should find one. I haven't played in forever. I was thinking maybe I could teach you. I bet you'd be great at it. <laughs> you want to learn how to play guitar? He does. Ellie. Actually, this time I was thinking we blast our way through that rubble. I found some dynamite in that RV back there. Really? No, so we're gonna cut through that building, <laughs> find a skyscraper, go up and look around. <laughs> I had you going, didn't I? Oh, bless them both. Oh. I feel I'm like demolished. he's more back to himself again. This feels more Joel than than he has ever felt since Sarah. Like, he's got a spark back in him again ever since he called her baby girl and realized that she was protecting him and he wanted to protect her. He's got a spark back. Whoa. Oh! Jesus, yes, Ellie! Ellie! Shh. Ellie! Is it... Up here! Is it what I think it is? Ellie! Come on! It's not the giraffe, is it? Oh my god, it is. It's the giraffe. Damn. Don't scare it. I won't. They fucking did it! Pet it, pet it, pet it, pet it. Dude, is that a oh. real fucking giraffe? Can you hurry up? Bro, that's a whole ass fucking real giraffe. Bruh. <laughs> hey there. This is so sweet. <laughs> wow, I'm so happy. <gasps> Look at his smile. <laughs> so fucking cool. That's what she fucking needed. Oh, I'm so glad they included that. Is it everything you hoped for? It's got its ups and downs. But you can't deny that view. Oh, he loves her so much. He loves I don't know her. Exactly where this hospital is. Yeah, we'll find it. I'll follow you anywhere you go. Also, I feel like I'm sorry if this reaction isn't me talking much. Um, it's just me looking at the screen, making weird faces and crying. I don't really have much to say because it's so emotional that I'm like speechless from it. Second day. Well, I gotta hand it to the army people. They were way better at stitching you up than I was. It was me. I was the guy who shot and missed. What the? What? Damn, that's heavy. One story. Sarah died. And I couldn't see the point anymore. Simple as that. And I wasn't scared either. I was ready. Went to pull the trigger. I, I flinched. Still don't know why. So time heals all wounds, I guess. It wasn't time that did it. It was you. I'm glad that that didn't work out. We all are. <laughs> Me too. I don't want to see you cry, Joel. Should probably get going. Yeah. God, that was new. That was heavy. What the fuck? Do you know what I'm in the mood for? Shitty puns. I was gonna say, don't say boggle. <laughs> Breathe, you idiot. 
Those are three out of ten. Oh, guys! Five. Guys! Five out of ten. Ellie! Ellie! Fuck. <laughs> but they were having a moment. Fuck you guys. Oh god, this is it. This is it. This is it. <laughs> Hey, Marlene. The fireflies. See? We got hit pretty hard. Oh, yeah. Just take me to her. I can't. She's being prepped for surgery. What surgery? The Our brain. Doctor, he thinks that the cordyceps in Ellie has grown with her since birth. Why is she in surgery? It produces a kind of chemical messenger. Cordyceps grows inside the brain. It does. You take me to her right now! Oh! Oh! Hmm. Give him this. Well, that fucking hurts. If he tries anything, shoot him. Yeah, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of controversy again from people who haven't seen the game and don't know Joel's decisions. From what he does here, this is gonna cause a shit stir with people who don't know. Which is valid because, you know, he's not exactly a good guy, but he's not exactly a bad guy. Like, yeah, he's about to fuck up the potential of getting a cure. Um but also We would all do the same thing. If it was the person who saved you emotionally, physically someone you loved and cared about with your entire being oh yeah you'd make the same choice i mean i would at least the fuck are you doing keep walking I you want a gun to the walking. head bitch oh. 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 right in the balls front shot baby fuck you i don't have time for this oh the music in the background fuck Damn, this is wild. Dude, no fucking mercy for anyone. Not a fucking single ounce of it. He is not letting another child go. But they've executed this scene so fucking well. Oh. Unhook her. How did you get in here? I said unhook her. Oh. Oh, we know who he is. Her. <laughs> Unhook her. <laughs> Move! Just, oh my god. <laughs> I don't mind leaving the nurses alive because I feel like they're needed in this world. So, like, are we just going to keep those ones alive? I mean, you shot the wrong one because. Yeah. I mean, he has every right because she didn't even have a choice. Like, she didn't get a say. She didn't get a choice in this. Like, obviously, she went this entire way, but she didn't know that she was gonna have fucking part of her brain removed and die. She didn't know that. She didn't consent to that. Marlene! Can't keep her safe forever. Maybe. But it isn't for you to decide. Or you. So what would she decide? Because I think she'd want to do what's right. Well, if you had fucking asked her first, maybe you would find out. What? It's all right. You're with me. Take it slow. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you. People that are immune. Dozens of them. And the doctors, they couldn't make any of it work. They've actually... They've stopped looking for a cure. Joel, 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 Joel. I get it, but it's selfish to lie. Where are my clothes? I'm sorry. I mean, at least 
least I've got a nice car to drive off in. Well, she got us close enough. Did I speak too soon? We gotta walk the rest of the way. Oh, whoopsies. I mean, not such a nice car. A five hour hike. Well, Sarah and I used to hike like this all the time. But she was a big climber. Or scampering. I think you really, really liked her. That's probably the right word. That girl. Well, she was a lot more. I want to say girly, and I'm not saying that you're not girly. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you're not. <laughs> I'm not so saying that, you're not girly, oops. but you're not. <laughs> she's taller. Do you know why I think she'd like you? Because you're funny. I think you would have made her laugh. Oh. Anyway, I bet you would have liked her back. Yeah, bet I would have. I like hearing him talk about her. It's so easy for him now. Not easy, but he's able to talk about her, which is really nice. He's probably held that in for so fucking long. Back in Kansas City, you asked me about the first time I killed someone. I wasn't alone when I got bit. When I got bit in the mall, I, w I wasn't on my own. My best friend was there. And she says, you can just wait it out. Be all, Be all poetic, poetic and, and shit. Lose, lose our minds, our minds together. together. Ah. And then she did. Her name was Riley. And she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. That's not on you. I know. It... Look, sometimes things don't work out the way we hope. You can feel like... Like you've come to an end. And you don't know what to do next. That hits. But if you just keep going... You find something new to fight for. Swear to me that everything you said about the fireflies is true. I swear. Okay. Oh, what a way to end! <laughs> wow, what in a fucking episode, my dudes. Oh my god. That was insane. It was like perfectly done. Everything was wonderful. Everything was beautiful. There was so many nice scenes in it. And also watching the credits, Laura Bailey was one of the nurses. Laura Bailey, for anyone who doesn't know, she is in the second game uh, as one of the main characters. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, like she's the voice actor for one of the main characters. So that's cool that she got a cameo as well as Ashley motherfucking Johnson. She did so well, and the portrayal that she did for for uh, as Anna, a character we've never seen before, it, it didn't feel like Ellie's mom and Ellie. It felt like OG Ellie and Ellie. Like she has so much love for Ellie as a character that that was just her raw emotion, being like, "Holy shit, this is Ellie." Like I, I don't know, I don't know how to describe what I mean. But, like, the pure emotion that came from her was just she's so proud of Ellie as a character and so proud of Bella as well. Um, I feel like she just put everything into, you know, giving birth to Ellie and, you know... And I don't know, I don't... I really don't know how to describe what I'm trying to say, but it just... It was so real. It was so fucking real. And she did absolutely wonderful. And I'm so glad that she got uh, a role in this episode. Um... It was very fucking emotional as well. Joel in this episode was, once again, top tier. Yes, he's a murderer, but he looked goddamn hot doing it. I don't care. Um, like, we, we can all have our own opinions on whether what he did was right, what he did was wrong. I personally think what he did was wrong, but I would make the same decision. So I cannot fault him in any way because, like I said, I would do the exact same fucking thing. In, that, in the heat of the moment, if... The person involved didn't get a choice because, like I said, Ellie did not get that choice. If the person didn't get a choice and didn't consent to that and didn't say, hey, yeah, I'm okay to go ahead with this, then I would do the exact same as Joel. Um, if I had good aim, which I don't, I would go around shooting everyone in the head. 
uh, and I would I would take that person back and I'd be like, I'm saving you. Now this ain't happening. Like, you know, maybe we can find more people that you can have the choice with. But for now, nah, not until you get a fucking choice. Um, I'm all for that consent. So, yeah, I, I feel like, you know, there is a split on whether people think Joel is right or wrong, whether he's a good guy, whether he's a bad guy, but he's just human. That's it. He's human and he's lost people. And, you know, this this is just their life now. Like, they didn't even have any confirmation that the cure would work, so they might have killed her for absolutely no reason. Um, so I feel like he had every right to do what he did, um, but it will end up with consequences uh, in the future, which I, you know, I'm not going to get into, but it's just a butterfly effect. That's, that's all it is. It's a butterfly effect, but I fucking love this. They ended this episode wonderfully or well i mean they ended the show wonderfully um it just felt like i was in the game the whole time the music that was playing while joel was going on his rampage was beautiful um him and ellie's little shared moments together as well were so fucking sweet and him being able to talk about sarah and open up about the fact that he tried to you know unalive himself which was wild i don't think that was ever a thing i don't remember that being a thing uh, maybe it's dialogue i missed i don't know but i don't remember that story um so that was that was a bit of a shock. That was a little bit like, whoa, holy shit. Um But I get it. I completely fucking get it. Um but yeah, that, that I like that their relationship in this was so much more connected. At least Joel specifically was trying his best to connect with her, like with the with the game, with the food, with, you know, telling stories and asking about the pun book and all that kind of stuff. Like he really, really changed. Like I said during that episode, like he got his spark back because he realized that you know, everything happens for a reason. And he didn't unalive himself because Ellie was in his future waiting for him and she was going to help patch up, not fix or, you know, resolve anything, but she helped patch up that wound that was left with him for all these years and filled that little hole. Well, the fucking huge hole that was in him. Like, I don't know. It... it I just love them, and they love each other, and I'm so glad that they love each other, and they... This sh this fucking... This... This show, this game, I love The Last of Us. I really fucking do, and I am so glad that we get a season two. Uh, I am, again, sad that this episode was shorter, but at the same time, they filled it perfectly. It was done so well. There wasn't, like, anything rushed. It just felt like they got straight to the point, and that's fine. I'm so happy about the giraffes as well. I can't believe that wasn't the first thing I mentioned. I'm pretty sure that giraffe was real. Like, the scene, the sort of, like, background obviously didn't look real, but the giraffe, that looked fucking real. Like, when she was feeding it, specifically, was she literally feeding a real giraffe? Because that's fucking, that is, that is dedication, and that is cool. I would love to have that role just to feed a giraffe. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad they included that, because I think that is my number one favorite scene in the entire in the entirety of both games, like both of them, that is the best scene to ever exist. It just makes me so happy. Um, and it is a nice little bonding moment for them as well. And seeing Joel's face and seeing how happy he was hearing Ellie's laugh and seeing Joel's smile, that just melted my heart, man. Um, but yeah, I feel like I didn't really like say much during my reaction this time because I just didn't have much to say. I was just so emotional. But hopefully it's a decent enough reaction to watch. I'm sorry if it's boring. Um... But I really, really, really enjoyed the show and I'm very sad it's over. Um, but yeah, I will definitely react to season two when that gets announced and released and stuff. But that's going to be a while away. But I'm very excited and I hope you guys are too. So thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. Thanks for watching The Last of Us with me. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Um, make sure you subscribe if you want to continue with the Pedro Pascal content. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew. Um... That will be Mandalorian is on every Wednesday currently, so I am reacting to that, and I'm also still reacting to the Bad Batch, uh, which has a couple of weeks left still on it too. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. So, peace. <laughs>